Ladies and gentlemen, we welcome you to the life and work of Riaz Ahmed Gohar Shahi. Hundreds and thousands of people all over the world, from all religions, have accepted his teachings. They have achieved spiritual purification, enlightenment, and the love of God through the spiritual teachings and grace of Riaz Ahmed Gohar Shahi. We are proud to present this film for you in the hope that you too may benefit from the spiritual grace and bounty of this man. Riaz Ahmed Gohar Shahi was born in the village of Gohar Shah, which is on the outskirts of Rawalpindi in Pakistan. He was born in a simple home and completed his elementary education in the village area. And he did not receive any further education from any college or religious institution. His father, Fazal Hussein Gohar Shahi, served as a member of staff to Qaid Azam Muhammad Ali Jinnah before the independence of Pakistan. Gohar Ali Shah, one of the ancestors of Gohar Shahi. Gohar Shahi left his home in search of spiritual knowledge and the love of God and his essence. He searched and visited various holy men, but he did not find the answer to his quest and he eventually abandoned his search. Gohar Shahi then married, had three children and became the owner of SQ Steel Industries. After working for many years, and then at the age of 34, he had a vision one night of the Saint Bari Imam. He was given instructions, and following those instructions, he left his home, visited the shrine of Sultan Bahu, and then retired to the jungle of Saban Sharif, which is in the province of Sindh in Pakistan. He remained in the jungle for a period of three and a half years and there he engaged in constant worship and commemoration and achieved self-mortification and self-purification. The shrine of the saint Lal Shabazz Khalandar in Sindh, the railway station, where Gohar Shahi spent some time engaged in worship. More importantly, it is a place where Almighty God chose Gohar Shahi for his divine appointment and revealed the personal light of his essence. And like a bolt of lightning from the sky, this light struck Gohar Shahi's body. After this profound spiritual experience, Gohar Shahi felt that his heart and every hair on his body vibrated with the sound of the name of God, Allah, Allah, Allah. After some time, I was instructed to retreat into the jungle of Lal Bagh, which is named after the saint Lal Shabazz Kalandar of Sindh. Retreat of the saint Lal Shabazz Kalandar. You are now looking at the tree inside which Gaur Shahi would seek refuge from the elements and would spend a lot of time engaged in the worship of God. After a period of three and a half years in this jungle, engaged in intensive physical and spiritual training, Gohar Shahi's presence was being felt by local people who would flock to the jungle to see him. He decided to hide himself from the public, but was then commanded by Almighty God to meet the public and to draw his attention to humanity and to bless them with his spiritual knowledge and his spiritual grace. It was then that Gohar Shahi moved to the city of Hyderabad in Pakistan and started to spread this word and these teachings over 20 years ago. Parts of Pakistan and spoke to small gatherings in homes and spiritual centers. After 15 years of such gatherings, he was commanded by Almighty God to address the masses. And now you will see his first formal public address 
which took place in 1993 in Arambar, Karachi, which was attended by thousands of people from across Pakistan. Singing in the honor and praise of Gohar Shahi after her heart was gifted with spiritual benevolence and grace from him. desired by God. God does not look at their sins. He looks at his own mercy and how majestic and powerful he is. And his one more thing is Abul Nasr Kharkani is a man who told him that if I tell you about the people of your mind, what are you doing? People kill and kill and kill and kill. Just to elaborate on that, there is another, another tale, another story. Um, Abul Nasr Kharkani was a man who told him that if I tell you about the people of your mind, there is a man of God by the name of Abul Hasan Kharkani. And God has said to him that if I was to tell the people how bad you are, how much of a sinner you are, everybody will stone you to death. And then he replied to God that if I was to tell people about God, if I was to tell people how merciful you are, then nobody would worship you, they would just rely on your mercy. Then God said, okay, let's do a deal. Neither you tell anybody and I won't tell anybody. <laughs> اب اس سے ثابت ہوتا ہے کہ یہ جو عشق ہے نا یہ سب مذہب سے بھی بالا تر ہے اور یہ اپنے بس میں نہیں ہوتا ہے یہ جن کو اللہ چاہتا ہے نا یہ انہی کو جو حرام ملتی ہے یہی وجہ ہے کہ کچھ لوگ مراقبے کرتے ہیں کچھ یوگا کرتے ہیں لیکن پہنچتے وہی ہیں جن کو اللہ چاہتا ہے باقی مشق کر کے چھوڑ دیتے ہیں دس از دا ریزن دیٹ سم پیپل ڈو سم میڈیٹیشن اینڈ یوگا اینڈ مینی ادر تھنگز اینڈ افٹر سم ٹائم دے لیو دیز پریکٹسز بٹ دوز دیٹ آر سکسیسفل ار دا ونز دیٹ آر ڈیزائرڈ بائی گاڈ اینڈ دوز دیٹ ہی گیوز ہز لو ٹو اب ہم مذہب کی بات نہیں کرتا ہم عشق کی بات کرتا ہے کہ وہ عشق انسان کے اندر کیسے آتا ہے ناؤ وی ڈونٹ ٹاک اباؤٹ ریلیجن We talk about love and how that love comes within a person. Yeah, Malaysia for Marie. And if the Sakal says that if you so wish, we will tell you the technique. If you wish to obtain this, then you can obtain this from Sakal, and your heart may also do Allah. No problem. I don't know if you have any problem. The way to do this is that we need now to bring Allah inside us. By doing this, it is as he is outside. اس کو روزانہ چھیاسٹھ مرتبہ کاغذ کے اوپر اللہ دیتے ہیں اب کسی کا یہ جو ہوتا ہے کام ہوتا ہے کوئی ہاتھ رکھتا ہے ملتا ہے کسی کا نہیں ملتا ہے تکن کے ساتھ اس کا پھر کیا کریں 
اس کے لیے بھلے ضربیں لگائے تو بھلے ناچے تو بھلے ورزش کرے ادب کے دائرے سے بارے دی آپ سے کچھ سوال کرو ادب بننے کا بات کس کو جو سمجھ میں نہیں یو وڈ لائک ٹو اسک ایم تھنگ یو ڈونٹ انڈرسٹینڈ یو کینٹ جسٹ آئی ہیو نو کوسچن اور گیٹ دس کوئی سوال نہیں یو جسٹ فار یو سٹ سوری واٹ یو ڈو یو ول ناؤ سی دی پریزنٹ ریزیڈنٹس اف گوہر شاہی ان کوٹری سندھ In August of 1996, Gohar Shahi confirmed that his facial image was on the moon. In addition to the moon, astronomers discovered a human face 150 times larger than the sun. Gohar Shahi confirmed that this face was a spiritual body from within his physical body. Nasirif Green, you are looking at a photograph of Mars. Not only on the sun and the moon, but it has recently been discovered that there is a facial image of Gohar Shahi on Mars. There is also his name, Riyaz Ahmad Gohar, visible, and the name of God, Allah, on it. If you can match the photograph on the right of the screen with the image of on the photograph of Mars on the left. You will now see two marble tiles which have the face of Gaur Shahi embedded in them. The first was discovered in a mosque in London and the other in a hotel in Rawalpindi, Pakistan. Recently, some people from Manchester returned from performing Umrah in Saudi Arabia and they brought back with them photographs of the Hijri Aswad, the holy stone in the Kaaba. Publishers in Mecca, Mirza Library and Company, have indicated that when the photograph is turned upside down, a human face is clearly visible on it. Many disciples, including ourselves, feel that the image on the holy stone is that of their spiritual guide. When asked about this phenomena, Gohar Shahi stated that this is a very sensitive matter. This may be caused by science, but it may also be a sign from God. He also stated that Muslim governments should fully investigate this matter and inform the public of the truth. Nazi While looking at a photograph of Jesus, Gohar Shahi has confirmed that this is a true image of Jesus. Whilst on tour in the United States, in May of 1997, a meeting took place between Gohar Shahi and Jesus. This image of Jesus also appears on the full moon. On 20th of June, 1997, the Daily Jung in Lahore reported that astronomers in the United States had discovered a 200 mile long image of Jesus on the face of the moon. This was composed of light and reflection. Photographs taken by NASA astronomers in 1992 have been concealed from the public. Further, according to this report, priests in America have demanded that the photographs and this information be released to the public so that it would strengthen the faith of the people. The teaching of the, of the Torah and the Injil, again, I wish I could refer more to the teaching of the Quran, 
but in case I get it wrong, I won't. So I'll stay with the Torah and the Ujjah. It mentions that there are three aspects that form man. One is the, the physical body that we live in at the moment. The other is the, the soul, which is our being within that body. And the third one is the Spirit of God, which unites the soul and the body to make one whole. Now, is that the same teaching? Kerefikar, Torah, or Injil, there is a lot of knowledge three aspects of man, three aspects of the human being, one is the human being, one is the human being, the second is the human being, which is the human being. Do you say that this is your knowledge? This is the same thing that has been described to you. Now what happens to each one of these aspects when a person dies? When a person dies, what happens to each one of these aspects when a person dies? What happens to each one of these aspects? एक हिस्सा ऊपर चला जाता है, बाकी तीर एक एक हिस्सा कब्र में चला जाता है, एक रूह ऊपर चला जाता है, बाकी जो चीजें हैं उसके साथ वो एक कब्र में रह जाता है, कुछ हर से बात खत्म हो जाता है। One one aspect your body material body stay in your grave and it destroy here, the other soul they go one one ऊपर one one aspect is on the first side तो बाकी soul जो है ना वो कब्र में है and the other souls you know within the world they are in your grave अगर उनमें ताकत है ना नूर की ताकत है तो फिर वो कब्र से लोगों को फैस पहुंचाता है। If they have a power of light of God, the soul in the grave, then they help people and give them blessing. अगर वो जादूगर है, शैतान की ताकत जाते रहे, फिर उसको बदबू बोलते हैं, वो लोगों को सताता है। And if it your soul have a negative power, negative power, then it harms people and that called bad evils and bad souls. फिर वो लोगों को सताता है, वो शैतान के साथ मिल जाता है। Travel the people and they ये तीन हालतें हैं बस। The three aspects. Now, uh, again, the Torah states in, I think, four or five different places, the angel in about two different places, that the dead know nothing. The dead know nothing. That the, the, the spirit of God returns to God, but the soul ceases. Soul ceases? Ceases at that point. That this, the only time that the soul has knowledge again is when God raises that soul to have a new body, as you mentioned, a body that is completely different from the bodies we, we have at the moment. How does, does that correspond with, with these teachings? The Torah is that when the soul comes to the soul, the soul of Allah, the spirit of God, goes up and the other soul is going to be there. سیز ہو جاتی ہے تو ہم نے یہی کہا ہے نا اگر انہوں میں طاقت نہیں ہے ختم ہو جاتی ہے تو وہ فنش اگر پاور ہے نیگٹیو پازٹیو تو پھر وہ ختم نہیں ہوتی There, there have again been prophecies made, and every one of the major religions has a prophecy regarding the return of, whether it be Jesus Christ, whether it be Buddha, whether it be Imam Mahdi, whether it be Krishna. There is always a prophecy of a God returning yeah. to this earth. Again, what is the situation concerning that? Yeah, there are different, different prophets. They have written in the saying that Buddha has come back to the Buddha, has come back to the Hindu say Krishna, Hindu say Krishna, Hindu say Krishna, what do you say about that? Muslim say Mehdi, 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 that's all true. Now, are we now waiting for the return? They say that we are waiting for the return, they are waiting for the return, they are waiting for the return, they are waiting for the return, everybody has arrived. इस साल के अंदर ही अंदर ही तो हमको सारा पता चल जाएगा वो मैं दी था वो इस तो within one year it will be evident and you will come to know that who was Jesus who was Mehdi and who was Buddha and who was Krishna वो बिल्कुल इसी तरह दुनिया में काम कर रहे हैं अपनी अपनी फील्ड तैयार कर रहे हैं they are already working the working in their field and preparing the people towards God and within one year you will come to know जो उनके करीबी लोग हैं वो उनको जानते हैं and the people which are closer to them they know them so each of these people are different people कह रहे हैं वो ये चारों अलग अलग हैं बुद्ध और कृष्ण नहीं नहीं वो एक ही नाम है तीसरा इलाद है बाकी वो बुद्ध और वो मध्यमादी वाले एक ही हैं जैसे सेपरेट और थ्री नेम्स आर ऑफ मैन ऑफ नेम्स ऑफ वन मैन 
Uh, so this is then the, the concept, because we have now on the planet, we have two people who are claiming to be the Maitreya, who are saying that they are God returned. How do we then deal with the fact that we have two people making this claim? Is there, is there some way we can determine who is true and who is false? If one thief is sitting in another corner, and another thief is sitting in another corner, if their eyes coincide, they will be one man of God sitting on the other corner, and then on the other corner, they both have light and God in their heart. once the name of Allah is happening in your heart, it is reciting the name of Allah through your heart throat, another man in his heart also, Allah is going on, once you come in front of him, then it will strike each other and it will get fast and you come to know the, the man you have met now, he is a man of God. Is, is this the only way that I can determine? There's only one way, there's no other way we can recognize. Otherwise, you can't recognize it to be the same as the same as the same as the same as the so you can't recognize those things. I think what worries me is, how would I know that I am not a thief, recognizing another thief? When you become a thief, then you will become a thief. You know, I mean, it is a serious question, because if you say to a thief, are you a good man, he will say, yes, I am a good man. What do you say? कहते हैं इसका फिर ये बड़ा अच्छा सवाल है कि करो मुझसे ये चोर को पहचाना चोर बन गया बस या थीफ कैन डू इन्हें तो थीफ तो भी कमर थीफ यही वजह ना कि जिनके लोगों में जरा सी भी लड़ थी उन्होंने नबियों को पहचाना ना that's the main reason that those people who are having a very slight amount of a light of God in their heart they recognize the prophet उन्होंने जाने भी दी ना नबियों के लिए। They gave their lives to for them। पहचाना तो जाने दी ना। Because they recognized the prophet, that's why they gave their lives for them। तो जिन में ये कुछ भी नहीं था, वो तो पहचान नहीं सके, उन्होंने मुखालफते करी ना। And those who were not having a light of God in their heart, they were against them, they didn't cooperate। इसी तरह जिनके दिलों में जरा सा भी नूर होगा, वो मैदी को पहचान के साथ देंगे ना, तो जिनके दिलों में कुछ भी नहीं होगा, � and those who do not have a light of God, they will be against Mehdi at this time, and they will not cooperate with him, and the Satan will be with them. लेकिन वो लोग जिन रूह ने ऊपर अल्लाह से मोहब्बत करेगी, वो बले सिख है, बले हिंदू है, बले मुस्लिम है, वो मेहदी का साथ देगी। And those souls who fell in love with God that time, whether they are Muslim, they are Christian, they are Sikh, whatever their religion, they are going to join Mehdi and they are going to cooperate with him. इस वजह से उसको सब तस्लीम करेंगे ना? That's why everybody, every religion will accept me. उस वक्त मज़ब नहीं था, मज़ब तो यहाँ हुआ ना, उस वक्त मोहब्बत ही थी ना? At that time there was no religion, there was only love of God. वो 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 जो रूह है ना, वो मेहदी का साथ देंगे? And those souls are going to join मेहदी and help him out. वो तो कुदरती तौर पे देगी, लकी तौर पे देगी, उनकी मकदर में जो लिखा गया, तो बाकी रूह हैं जिनके अंदर अल्लाह लाका नूर हो, उसके जरिए पहचानेंगे। And those souls by luck and by chance, because they are amongst them, those who fell in love, that that's why they will be Mehdi, with Mehdi, and join Mehdi in Islam. 
but the other souls in if they have a light of god in their heart only then they can join me otherwise they can't yeah. in turmoil mankind more than ever before is searching for meaning in life and ways to find peace and love finding a way to true brotherhood and the love of god is a challenge which frequently requires the guidance of someone who has already achieved this state. Sufism is a spiritual path which facilitates opening of the heart and direct personal expression of the love of God. Although traditionally associated with Islam, Sufism is not a religion. Rather, it is a spiritual path and a way of life. It is above religion. A Sufi is a seeker of divine love. A Sufi master is one who, having achieved the essence and love of God, shares that knowledge with all seekers, regardless of race or religious affiliation. His Holiness Sayyidna Riaz Ahmed Gorshai is a Sufi master whose commission is to extend the gift of divine love he is carrying to others. After several years of constant pursuit of the presence and love of God, while in retreat in the wilderness of Pakistan in the 70s, Gorshayi was granted the grace and blessings of the constant love and presence of God. He was commissioned by God to leave the desert and go out into the world to share this experience with all seekers. His teachings are extremely simple, direct, and easy to practice. Gorshayi teaches the Sufi practice of the spiritual remembrance of God in the heart. This greatly accelerates the awakening of the heart center and the grace of the awareness of the presence of God. Gorshayi avoids the traditional religious debates and has devoted his life to the practical and true unification of the world community. Initially, for some people, his teachings were perceived to be conflicting, threatening, and rebellious. He went through a time of rejection, humiliation, and great hardship. In the first four years of his mission, only four people accepted his teachings. However, Gorshayi's steadfast commitment, firm belief, and love for God began touching the hearts of the people. He began his mission in the small city of Khotri, Pakistan in 1980. Since then, more than one million seekers have received initiation into this practice, and hundreds of thousands of those have had life-changing experiences. This path requires the experience of a practical transformation of the physical heartbeat to the ethereal remembrance and chanting of the name of God. The only way to create this is to allow Allah to come into the heart and to purify and enlighten it. This enlightenment is critical to experiencing the divine love and oneness of God. In the words of Gorshayi, in order to recognize Allah, God, and be able to approach the essence of Allah, learn spiritualism no matter what religion or sect you belong to. He only hooks up the heart. After the connection is made, it is between you and God. The knowledge which Gaur Shai was given and shares is in opening the heart and having it beat with the personal name of God, Allah. This is not an intellectual quest. As you listen to this wisdom, focus on the heart and its reaction. This experience is very powerful and healing. This practice called zikr awakens the other subtle energy centers within the body as well. Gorshayi teaches that it is necessary to focus on the heart to find God. God is only found through the heart. Spiritualism cannot begin until your heart actually begins to remember and chant the name of Allah. If your heart is not awake, you are not truly on a spiritual path. Having an understanding of God, divine love, and the importance of remembering is not enough.
His Holiness Gorshai states, When the name of God is taken inside you 24 hours a day, as in when you rub two sticks together, you create a light energy, you create a spark. When the name of God is taken inside you 24 hours a day, light is collected inside the heart. The achievements of Holiness Gorshai is due to his simplicity, unconditional love, and ability to see beyond the boundaries of religion, culture, and nations. His devotees are totally convinced of his ability to practically demonstrate spirituality and take the seeker a step further than theological understanding. His unconditional love does not require any commitment or binding. We do not have to pay for any of the services that Gorshai provides. His Holiness wishes for people watching this video to know the following vital messages. The religion of God is basically divine love. If we do not have love, we will not be able to achieve our goal, even with the best religion. The essence of the message is the love of God. Here was a man who said, here is the true experience of God. It is very simple. You open yourself to it, and God will do the rest. Allah will come into our hearts. And it's, we will experience Allah. And uh, like I say, at first I thought, nah, that's too easy. How can that happen, you know? And no money, I didn't have to pay anything for it. And other teachers would ask me for hundreds of dollars sometimes. Or I would have to go on weekend workshops, which would cost a lot of money. Here was a man who wanted nothing from me, nothing at all except the willingness to open to Allah. He teaches me self-respect and he teaches me patience and control and uh, these all come in the line of, uh, of, of doing the, the zikr is uh, being patient and understanding with everyone because God loves everyone and we have to uh, stay together and have to um, for this world, if we all... I feel that Goha Shahi is definitely a messenger of love. The very first moment I saw him, he hit my heart, and it's like, opened it up. And um, he's definitely affected my life in that way. I feel every day my heart is opening up more and more. He's an extraordinary man who sees no boundaries between people, sees no boundaries such as uh, nations or religions. There is just one thing that we need, one thing that we have to have, and he is a channel for this, and that is Allah in our hearts and in our lives. Um, the man is quite extraordinary. Um, I think that we are just about ready for this level of enlightenment, if you will, this level of message. The Sufi Institute, the United States branch of the International Spiritual Organization, ASI, is sponsoring programs to introduce this Sufi master to the world, to those interested groups, organizations, either religious or non-religious, or simply other spiritual seekers. University ka ye program on Afrat. They do not propagate any religion. They talk about the love of God. They tell us about the secrets that are contained within us, secrets of the universe. <laughs> First of all, it is important to say that we do not propagate or teach about any religion to teach about that knowledge through which people find the love of God. When God created all the souls, He asked all the souls, Do you love me? Do you believe in me? All the souls said yes. Then God Almighty showed all those souls, the world and all its pleasures, and many of those souls leapt towards those pleasures. 
and those souls that chose the world and its pleasures, that was written as their fortune. But those who were the ones 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 Because they only looked and continued to look at the essence of God, they fell in love with God. Then all those souls, slowly but surely, came into this world. The souls that chose the world and the souls that chose God. And some came into Japan and other parts of the world. Some of those souls came into different parts of the world, some came into different religions, some became Muslim, some Sikh, some Hindu, some Jew. Those souls, when they came within the human body, came within this world. They were locked in this body. Now, wherever those souls were found, whichever environment or culture they came in, they tried to find God or search for that inner journey um, according to the culture and environment and the religion that they were in. Some people read the Bible, some read the Holy Quran, some searched in their own different ways, but they couldn't find that love that they were searching for. Now from those books and the scriptures, they got knowledge, but they couldn't find the love of God, and they didn't actually love God. Of those souls, some then left for the jungles, which image may be the image of God. There are many people going to the churches, going to the temples and the mosques and the gurdwaras. They did plenty of worship. They made so much effort to find God. But at the same time, they don't realize that these buildings, these temples, these mosques are something that they made with their two hands also. Is there any proof? that somebody has actually seen God sitting in one of these places. Now, all these souls, all these different people, in their own different ways, are trying to find God. But to those people that actually found the secret, they actually found God. Now, so many different people, For example, we go to the church and the Gurdwara and the mosque and the temple for so many years and do that worship, but none of them have found God. And then continuing with that worship, they grow old and then eventually die. Now, there is a knowledge which is contained in all the scriptures and all the people, people of all religions, accept this. And because there are so many people that accept this knowledge, it must be the truth. And that is pertaining to the heart. They all say that God is found in the heart. Now, because you, if you all say that God is found through the heart and in the heart, then why do you not search for God in the heart? Those people that sought God in their hearts, they became the friends of God and the saints. Take for the remaining of our Salat and Jumaat and we would pray prayers. I'd like to welcome you all here to this special event. Uh, this evening, a lecture by our distinguished guest, brother, Sufi teacher, Gelfar Shahi. I'm afraid a little bit of difficulty, so we appreciate him and uh, his presence here even more. Through the grave.
اگر تم نے ان کو مخلوق کو گزار نہیں دی تو پھر تم جانوروں کو طرح مر گیا اور مر گیا you have not sustained you have not nurtured you have not awakened these spiritual bodies and your soul then you're just like the animals and they will die within you jab isa alaihi salam ko suli pe chadhaya gaya to kuch log to kehte hain ki isa alaihi salam ko chadhaya gaya agar isa alaihi salam ko chadhaya jata to uski qabr to kahin maujood hoti na now when jesus was placed on the cross many people said that it was jesus if it in fact was jesus and he died on the cross then he would have had a grave or a shrine کچھ کہتے ہیں کہ ان کی جگہ ایک اور بندہ آ گیا تھا وہ سولی چڑھ گیا اگر کوئی دوسرا بندہ ہوتا تو اس کی بھی کوئی قبر نشان نہ مرچا ہوتا نا سم پیپل سے اٹ واز سم ادر پرسن ان پلیس اف جیسس ہو واز پلیس آن دی کراس اینڈ اف دیٹ واز دی کیس دین دیٹ پرسن وڈ ہیو ہیڈ اے شرائن اور گریو تو پھر وہ کیا تھا وہ اسرائیل اسلام کی یہی باڈی تھی یہ سولی چڑھی تو جب اس کو دفنانے لگی تو چلی سو دیر ابھی سو دی کوسچن از ہو واز آن دی کراس اٹ واز ون اف دی اسپریچوئل باڈیز اف جیسس دیٹ واز ایکچولی آن دی کراس and after the physical or apparent death it disappeared okay pass dekha ke musa jo hai na wo qabr mein namaz padhe in a similar way the prophet muhammad when he on the night journey when he traveled to see god he saw during his path that moses was in his grave engaged in worship lekin jab wo upar faran pahunche dekha musa wahan bhi maujood the and then when the prophet muhammad reached a higher realm they saw that moses was present there also to ye cheeze tumhare andar bhi hai ان کے ذریعے تم بھی پہنچ سکتے ہو سو دیز تھنگز دیز اسپریچل باڈیز دیٹ وی ریفر ٹو ایگزسٹ ان آل اف یو اینڈ تھرو دیٹ ایکٹیویشن اینڈ اویکننگ اینڈ پیوریفیکیشن اینڈ انلائٹمنٹ یو کین اچیو دس آلسو یہ جو تم اللہ کو تلاش کرتے ہو اللہ کو چرچ میں یہ ماسک میں تلاش کرتے ہو تب ادھر جاتے ہو نا نا یو سرچ فار گاڈ اینڈ یو گو ٹو دا ماسک اور دا چرچ ٹو سرچ فار گاڈ دس از وائی یو گو ٹو دیز پلیسز لیکن اس کا گھر اس کا گھر تو تمہارا دل ہے نا یہ کلین نہیں ہے صاف نہیں ہے تب تم اس بھولے جاتے ہو ادھر but the true home of god is your heart it is not clean and is not pure this is why you have to go to the church or the mosque agar ye clean ho jaye rab isme aa jaye na to phir wo church aur mosque teri taraf daude na and if you could cleanse and purify your heart and become enlightened then god would occupy this home his home the heart then you would not have to go to the church or mosque iske liye agar ye bolte hain to unko wo tarika bata dete hain ki wo andar allah ala kaise hota hai and if you so wish Uh, we will now tell you about that method how our heartbeat is activated how we achieve this inner purification and enlightenment allah 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 allah